Hi guys, welcome back to Pipro vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the code. Today we'll be discussing about how to create a voice control assistance for basic system task. But before that, we'll be checking the packages pre-installed in my system. So the first command that I'm going to execute in command prompt is PIP list, where you can see all the packages with the versions. So it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So let's get started with the code, starting with importing speech recognition as SR. So you can this line imports a speech recognition module and remains it to SR for easier reference in the code. This allows Python to recognize and transcribe speech from audio input. And also we are having in, to import the OS module, which provides a portable way of interacting with the operating system. It's used here to execute the commands to open the application and the URLs. Next, we are having R is equal to SR dot recognizer. This line initiates a recognizer object R from the recognizer class provided by the speech recognition module. This object will be used to recognize the speech. And later in the program, we are having uh, one of the function of listen and the second function as execute and the while loop to execute the program. So we'll start with the function of listen, starting with DEF listen. Again, this line defines a function named listen. This function will handle capturing audio from the microphone and attempting to recognize speech from it. And we have with sr.microphone as store. This line sets up a context manager to work with the microphone. It defines the microphone as a source of audio data. The sr.microphone function accesses the default microphone. And also we have print speak now. This prints a message to console prompting the user to speak and we have r dot pause threshold is equal to one this line sets the pause threshold attribute of the recognizer object r it defines the maximum length of silence silence in seconds that will be tolerated before considering a spoken phrase completed here it is to set to one second and we have r dot adjust for ambient noise source this line adjusts the recognizer sensitivity to the noise level in the environment. It dynamically adjusts the energy threshold so that it is turned into an ambient noise level, thus reducing the recognizer sensitivity to said the voice. And we have audio is equal to R dot listen source. This line records the audio from the microphone, which is the source. The listen method captures the data until it detects that the user has stopped speaking. And we have a try and accept loop where command is equal to r dot recognize Google audio dot lower. Here the capture audio data is sent to Google speech recognition API to be converted into the text. The recognized speech is converted to lowercase by dot lower function to facilitate easier. And we have print use set comma command. This prints the recognizer text to the console showing the user what was understood from their speech. And we have execute commands. This calls the execute function passing the recognized command as an argument. This function will handle the execution of the commands based on the recognized speech. And in the except, we have sr dot unknown value error error this exception is caught if the speech is unintelligible or not recognized by google speech recognition api 
and we have print sorry i didn't catch up that please try again here it prints an error message for the user if the speech could not be recognized moving on to the next function which is function execute so starting with we have the f execute command this defines a function named execute that takes one parameter which is command which contains the recognized speech as text and we have is open notepad in command os dot start file notepad dot exe if the recognized command includes the phrase open notepad it executes the notepad application using os dot start file and we have else if open calculator it command os dot start file calc dot exe similarly if the command includes open dot calculator it opens the calculator application else if Open browser in command os dot start file. I've given a IP address of the Google, so it opens the Google's home page. And we have else if exit in command. If the command includes exit, the program terminates by calling exit. So moving on. Lastly, we have a while loop where while through listen, this loops that continuously runs calling the listen function repeatedly, allowing the program to continuously accept and process the command until it is manually stopped or received an exit command. Let's quickly see the output of the program. So as usual, I'm going to go to the node wherever the .py file is saved, copy the name of the file, open command from Python space the file name .py. So as you can see, we have speak now option. So if you tell something, it is going to recognize it and display it. Since I'm not going to say anything, we have a sorry. Thank you so much for watching. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.